going to be doing an overview for RuneScape Returns 10.11 update. I already know all these skins, but we're going to go over it quick and give you guys all the information necessary for you guys to be updated. Um, Sandwich Lady, the new RuneScape crossover. General Gardor, Emir, Black Plate Bologna. This shit looks sick. I'm a, a Sandwich Lady. Pretty cool. Infernal Warden, Chiron. It's whatever. Plague Minister set. It's whatever. Carnage so big. That one looks sick. We didn't get to see it. Dark Messenger Naja looks pretty sick. This you hanger skins, whatever. The Loki skins, whatever. Uh, a couple bug fixes. They buffed Demon Blade off the bat. Pretty big buff, in my opinion. 5 power and 5% attack speed. Uh, pretty good. I, I think you'll start to see it more. Um, this this buff was not talked about. I watched it, I watched the patch notes with a couple you know streamers and watched it live. Nobody talked about this. It's literally two times the amount. When you use a relic, you, you get the buff of the prots and be able to see wards for two times the amount. Very underrated buff and no one talked about, but I think it's really big. Erosion got a big buff. Decrease the cost by 50 gold and increase the range. This was necessary for for Yamoja and all the shield gods, Geb. Increase attack speed on Odibo from 30 to 35. Pretty pretty nice buff. Shadow Drinker, not enough. Uh, it's cheaper, yes, it's nice, but it's not it's not a core item. It's okay. Um, Soul Gem, pretty big buff if you ask me. 10 power and 50 gold is pretty big buff, especially because power is so sacred nowadays. Stone Agaia buff was pretty big. You get 15 power or 25 magical power for 5 seconds after you get knocked up, pull, grabbed, or knocked up. I thought this was interesting, um, but and it makes sense to me to increase health and mana from 25 to 40% on alternate timeline. But pretty big buff, but not sure how impactful that is. Soul Eater nerf, yeah, everybody was abusing it in the jungle. Um, got nerfed in price. A Willix got a buff, 5% increased movement speed on a Willix. I think a Willix was already pretty damn good, um, but this makes her even better. Decreased cooldown from 18 uh, to, four, to 14 seconds. All right, this is a giant buff, a giant buff for laning phase. Um, and increased health from 20 to 25%. Uh, pretty big buff as well. These are two big buffs for Cthulhu. Cupid. I thought it was an interesting way to buff him. Yeah, I think he was one of the worst gods. But uh, I thought this was cool. Um, this was necessary, I feel. He's still pretty average or below average, but those are nice buffs. Hera, something everybody talked about. Increased the base damage by very little. 20 on the late, on the lane end of it. Um, the scaling by 5%. And then increase the cooldown from shield to 16 seconds at all ranks of 16, 14. This is pretty big. This means she'll have shield infinitely more in the late game. Hunbot's buff. Increase base MP5. Uh, base MP5 from 3.9 to 4.4. This was actually a big problem on Hunbot's. I usually spend like three to four, 500 gold on Hunbot's mana. Increase MP5 per level. So another thing. He, he had, like if you didn't go trans on him, it felt so bad. So this was pretty big buff. Decrease the cooldown from 15 to 11 to 13 to 11. Help his early game. His early game was pretty bad. This helps his early game a little bit. Increased damage per take from 30 to 50 to 50 at all ranks. It's a pretty big buff in terms of damage in the early game with the ult. Ixchel got a giant buff. Increased enhanced basic attack from 50. Nobody talked about this, but I'm going to be abusing that. You already know. Uh, you know I got, you guys know I love Ixchel. Increased enhanced basic attack per take. So this is a small buff. This is a giant buff. Giant. 15% damage mitigation while channeling the ability. That's crazy. Now gain slow immunity for the entire duration. I think it, should, it always should have been like that, but now now it is. Increased damage scaling in the whirlwind from 15 to 17%. Helps a lot Some in his damage. Giant buff for Maui. We love to see that. Decreased self slow from 80% to 50%. So now you can drag him a little bit further. More movement during your one. You don't just get hit by every spell. Decreased cooldown from 110 seconds at all ranks. So 110 scaling down to 90. Huge buff. Neath got a big buff as well. Increased damage scaling from 80% to 100%. That's pretty big. And increased heal from 15 to 75 to 20 to 80. And the weave heal got increased as well. So it's just uh, all around uh, ability based Neath got a pretty big buff. Increased damage to minions. This, this god is bad. This god is bad. This god is bad. It was such a weird way to buff him, but pretty bad. Increased max health from 10% to 15%. Uh, small buff to solo uh, rat. And small buff to crit crit rat as well. Um, Scylla increased root duration from 1.5 to 1.75 to all ranks. So pretty much you can set up. She, she, she's just better early game. So it's pretty good. 
Pretty good buff. Solana's got some nice buffs. Decreased cooldown from 16 to 14. Pretty big buff here. Added 5% prote protection re uh, reduction on pot explosion. Pretty nice buffs here. Uller got changed uh, pretty a lot. Increased damage scaling by 5% on his axe. Removed power buff and added f f attack speed on the two instead. And removed the attack speed and added damage on his passive. So this is definitely a, a buff, I feel. Um, all around. But... Um, very interesting. I, I don't mind it. A lot of people got angry, but I liked it. I think I liked the, the two change. They also buffed uh, Jing Ten. Increased axe damage from 25 to 85, 35 to 95, 50 to 170 to 55 to 175, and the root duration from 1 to 2 seconds to 1.6 to 2 seconds. The big thing that I see is the 1 to 0.6 more seconds on level 1 root. Pretty, pretty, really good. Change mana cost from. Alright, this was just a, a just quality of life on the mana cost. Decrease cooldown from 11 seconds to 9 to 9 seconds at all rank. Pretty big buff for Yu Huang. Um, Ganesh. Decrease protection reduction from 15 to 55 to 20, 10 to 50. Decrease slow. So small nerfs to Ganesh. Pretty big nerf to set. Decrease scale, scale damage from 90% to 85. And uh, the dash damage percent on double skewers so that was pretty interesting said they get hit i think pretty hard in my opinion with this because this is this is what made set strong in in uh, higher ranks let's do this thing Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask or drop in the comments. Thanks for watching.